get this party started. What is up, everybody? It's 1.30 p.m. It's December, and I'm going out for a drive. I've got about three hours of daylight left. The days are really short this time of year. We had a little storm overnight. It got a couple inches of snow, and uh, it's starting to clear up, so these clouds are looking really awesome. The Tetons are still socked in, uh, but we're getting little patches of pretty light coming through. So the light's fantastic, the clouds are fantastic. It's a great setup and I'm going out for a drive. Uh, on my list of things to look for will be bison. I'd love to get some bison in the snow, get in them close to the vehicle so I can shoot kind of wide angle with some of this dramatic sky would be top-notch stuff. There are moose out here. There's always a potential for uh, coyote and fox and wolf. Lots of other potential for anything. Great wildlife, um, great landscapes, uh, birds, whatever. So I'm just gonna cruise around in the vehicle until I find something that looks interesting. And then we'll stop and talk about what I'm gonna do to photograph that interesting thing, whatever it turns out to be. So, um, yay, should be a fun afternoon. Hopefully I can find something good and make a fun video today. Alright, there's a quick photo I'm going to make of a tree over here with some blue skies. This I'm going to use infrared and go infrared black and white with some nice interesting clouds behind it. And everything should be bright white except some of the blue sky. And the texture in the sky should be cool. So I'm going to go do that real quick. All right, that was a simple one. Should be pretty though. And uh, get this party started. First photos of the day here. Now, keep moving, see what else happens. But uh, I think I'm gonna like that in infrared. A little blowing snow, but there's an eagle way, way up there in the background is really nice behind him or her. Check my exposure real quick. So it's a long ways away, but I've got this really cool cloud thing happening over there. So if it like starts banking and turning in this wind and gets me, uh, some interesting wing positions. It could be kind of cool. So I'm gonna hang here for a minute and watch. Actually, there's another one cruising around too. So I got two of them cruising around here. So I'm just gonna kind of wait and um, hope that I get some interesting curves and turns here. Because it's windy and blowing snow. Check this out.
All right, check this out. So as I was sitting here waiting for those eagles, and I did make a few photos, uh, I was shooting some B-roll of this snow coming and blowing over uh, this little snowbank, and it's creating beautiful contours in the snow uh, created by the wind. And so there's some of this really cool wavy stuff happening. The light's really pretty right here in this snowbank that's kind of behind it. So I'm kind of shooting down on it right here. Uh, but I was shooting some, some B-roll video of that, and then I thought, ah, this makes a nice photo too. I'm not sh quite sure how it's gonna look best, so I'm shooting it two ways. I'm shooting it with a slow shutter speed so that this these blurring kind of snow crystals will streak and blur. Uh, and I'm, I'm finding a nice composition with this beautiful curve coming through that's lit up by the sun, and then there's some nice shadowy areas as well. Uh, to give it some interest and drama there, but then uh, I'm shooting the the snow crystals blurred with a slower shutter speed, but then I'm also trying some with like a 1600th, 2000th of a second, so pretty high shutter speed to freeze all those snow crystals in the air because they're catching some backlight and they're making some interesting patterns as they're blowing around uh, kind of in the turbulence here. So I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to like better with the streaky stuff or with the frozen you know really high shutter speed look so i'm shooting it both ways and um shooting uh, a few a few different compositions in there but i think i'm gonna like these photos so uh again that was like something i would never have stopped to shoot but as i was sitting here waiting for something else i'm looking around going jesus is such a pretty scene like what else can i do with this and that's what i came up with so I'm adjusting my aperture and my ISO to crank the shutter speed up and then to crank it down and get some slow stuff. So my light is going away. I'm going to make a couple more quick photos here before it goes away completely because it's kind of cool. Ooh. It's a wee bit uh, chilly out there. It's actually not that cold, but man, that wind is ripping. And when you got that snow blowing right in your face, it makes a bit of a challenge to make photos out there. But wow, so pretty. <laughs> it is lovely. Uh, so I think I'm gonna be done here. I'm gonna warm back up a little bit. Ah. Ooh. and uh, look for more stuff. The light went away. A big giant cloud moved in and uh, blocked the sunlight. And I kind of needed that sun, and I kind of needed that sunlight to really highlight all that little texture uh, and contours in the blowing snow. So I'm gonna keep cruising around. I'm sure I'll find more stuff because it's, oh, so pretty out there. Just gorgeous. Beautiful storm happening out there right now.
Alrighty, I made it to the moose, and they're close enough to photograph, so probably 50 yards from the road here. Uh, there are a few other photographers around, so I'm gonna leave the video, the vlogging gear in the car, so I'm not out there jabbering away amongst a couple other people. But I'm gonna go out and um, make some photos here. It looks like it's uh, probably not gonna get any nice light, so everything will be, I mean, nice is relative. This is like perfect light, this flat, um, no direct light will be on these moose, which actually can be really nice for some portraiture. So I, I think I'll, um, I'll bring my biggest lens, which is a 600 millimeter F4, and uh, try and get in tight with the uh, with the lens and do some kind of portrait work on the moose. So we'll see what I come up with. Uh, I don't have long here before the sun is completely gone away. So uh, I'm going to cross my fingers that I can, you know, make anything anything work at all out here. But I'll show you what I come up with. And uh, what's up? And uh, we'll go from there. is going to be it. It is too dark to shoot, although it doesn't look like it on the camera. I have that exposure compensation cranked way up uh, to try and keep the snow nice and white, so that's why it looks pretty bright out there. But uh, that was kind of a fun evening drive in the park. Uh, the weather drama that I kind of was expecting to happen didn't really happen. I mean, it was interesting weather, but uh, I was really hoping for some awesome clearing light, uh, clearing storm light, and it got a little bit of that, but I was expecting to shoot more of that kind of stuff. So I still made some interesting landscape photos out there, uh, got into a little moose situation, which was fun, and made some moose photos, and everything worked out great. So I'm on my way back to town. And uh, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put the, uh, my settings, my EXIF data from the, the photos today. I didn't uh, talk to you guys at all about what my settings were while I was making photos today. And I feel kind of bad about that. And uh, so take a look at those and let me know if you have any questions and let me know which photos you liked or didn't like. And we can have some discussion about that if you'd like. So that'd be cool and that's about it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you later on the next episode. Bye. Yeah, it's crazy how bright that uh, camera makes it look outside because it is not that bright. Peace.